All right, guys, real quick, just wanted to show you, um, this is the Blackmagic production 4K camera. When this camera was first released, it didn't come with RAW. Um, so with ProRes, you can pretty much use um, some decent solid state drives. Here I have the SanDisk Extreme, not the Extreme 2, but these are the Extremes. And unfortunately, the Extreme is not good enough when you're doing RAW on this camera. For ProRes, it works fine, but when they did the firmware update and they unlocked RAW, people started running into problems because you, you really need a better quality solid state drive. So the one that works perfectly is the Extreme Pro. Now there may be a few others out there, but I just wanted to bring this up because there's a sale going on right now on the Extreme Pro and it's huge. It's a huge savings and this is by far a really, really nice solid state drive, very, very fast. The Pro series is kind of like the high end of uh, SanDisk's um, media. Anyways, let me show you really quickly what happens when you pop one of these drives in there. You see, uh, we have some recording time. If I hit record, once it gets to about 10 seconds, you'll notice that we get this blinking uh, red light over here. I don't know if you guys could see that, that little exclamation mark. So very quickly that comes up and that's signifying that you're ha you have dropped frames. It will continue to record, but once you bring this into post, um, you will have all kinds of drop frames. So it's, uh, it's just not something that's, that's gonna work very well. Now let me show you what happens when you drop the Extreme Pro in there. Okay, it's gonna read it. There you go. Hit record. There's that record there. And at this point, it will pretty much just record all day. So we'll let it run for a little while. There you go, past 10 seconds already. We are not getting any of those uh, blinking images over here on the top left. Works perfect, and that's just right out of the box. I'm just gonna stop it right now. Um, so a couple other guys are using the Pro Series. Definitely a hard drive to go to. Some people, um, you know, they're trying different drives and uh, it's probably to save on cost. But just because these are on sale today, these Pro Series, um, they are very, very inexpensive compared to the, even the cheap drives out there. Um, so definitely something worth looking into. Now, even if you're not shooting with a uh, Blackmagic camera here, it's a great external drive as well. I use these uh, cheap Seagate Thunderbolt docks, which you can dock any solid state drive or actually any, any SATA drive. And then it gives you the Thunderbolt capability to your system. So um, when you're doing transfers, when you're editing, I use it for editing externally. It works really well with, uh, with the solid state drive. So look for these um, in combination with this because it's a really good deal. In fact, I think this is now cheaper than the extremes, which are kind of slow still. Now you'll notice that um, the height is going to be a little bit different. So what they do with the extreme pro, um, it's a lot thinner is they give you a shim. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of raised, this raised lip that goes around here. So it's a piece of plastic that they give you in the packaging so that uh, if you required a, a fatter drive, you just peel off the um, sticker and it sticks on the outside here. And that makes it the same uh, thickness as the older uh, solid state drive here. So, um, you know, you can use them on your camera. Anyways. Just wanted to share that with you. It does work 4K raw. This camera demands a lot of data, uh, works perfectly fine. Today there's a sale. If you guys are looking into solid state drives or you may be thinking about it in the future, I'd suggest getting it. Matter of fact, even if you don't know what you're gonna do with it, maybe you wanna buy it, hang on to it. If you don't know what you're gonna do with it, I don't know, maybe return it, but it is really a great deal right now and definitely worth having for cameras like this. So. Uh, anyways, hopefully that's uh, some helpful information there. Check out that sale. And if you're going to shoot with this camera, look for uh, this hard drive right here. It works well. All right, that's it.